Hi guys, this is Sajna Vinil and welcome to the Business Analysis Guide. Are you struggling with prioritization of requirements? Then watch this video till the end. In this video, we are going to learn how to prioritize requirements in your project. Before we get started, if you have not subscribed to this channel, hit the subscribe button so that you can receive more videos from me. So now let's get started. So many students ask me, is prioritization a responsibility of a BA? Well, yes. As a business analyst, you have to prioritize requirements jointly with the customer because your customer may not always know which feature adds more value to the product. So as a BA, it's your responsibility to give recommendations to the customer. Sometimes if the requirements are technically complex, we also involve our technical team in the prioritization exercise. So there are several prioritization techniques used in different projects. In this video, we will talk in detail about the Moscow technique and the Cano method. So let's get on with the Moscow technique. Now, Moscow, the acronym stands for must have, should have, could have, and won't have. Now let's break these components and understand each one of it. So the first category, must have user stories, are those user stories which you guarantee to deliver to the product owner because you cannot deliver without it. An example of a must have feature is a compliance requirement which helps the bank comply with the new regulations. Or it might be a security feature in a payment gateway or an internet banking por portal. Those are absolute must-have features that should be included with the product. Now, should-have features. Should-have features are important features, but they are not absolutely vital for the success of the product. So should have features are mostly uh, features that your technical team tries to come up with a workaround. Could have features are wants. They are not needs. These are desirable features. These are the features that might enhance your system. Leaving them out will not cause any pain. Won't have user stories are always kept in the backlog for later. So these might be user stories your product owner doesn't have much clarity about or they have to discuss with the internal management. They are kept for later discussion. So those are won't have features. Cano model was developed in 1980 by Professor Nariko Cano. So in Cano model, features are categorized based on customer expectations, based on the satisfaction level of the customers. What kind of features will make your customers happy, satisfied? Those are given high priority. So what are the categories available in this model? Must be attractive, one-dimensional, indifferent, and reverse. So let's take a look at the must-be features. Must-be features are naturally those which are expected by your customer. They are features that should be included in your product. Attractive features are those features that will make the user happy when they are there, but will not disappoint them when those features are not there. One-dimensional features. One-dimensional features, these are features that make the user happy when they are there and unhappy when they are not there. Indifferent features are features that do not have any impact on the customer satisfaction levels. For example, your technical team uh, might plan to do a code review and optimization of the code. Well, it is very much essential for the quality of the product, but the end user does not have any visibility towards it, does not impact the end user in any way. So they are indifferent. Reverse features are features that can make a user unhappy when they are there and can make, uh, make them happy when they are not there. Yes, it's the exact reverse. So you might have experienced several websites have these enhanced uh, security due to which when you log in, you have to perform an extra step uh, to log into the system. Now, this can be very irritating for the user, but it is very much required for that platform or for security. Customers do not value this. Now, you must have seen that there are a lot of similarities between the Cano model and the Moscow model. They have similar type of buckets to sort the features. However, remember, they are not interchangeable. So a must-have feature in Moscow is not equal to a must-be feature in Cano. Moscow categorization is more product driven, whereas the Cano model is more uh, market driven, where we categorize features in terms of the satisfaction level of the customer. So which model should you actually use in projects? So, well, in my experience, if, we create, if you create a mixture of both these models, it works beautifully in agile teams. So in your product catalog, have a good mix of must-have features, must-be features. 
one dimensional features and attractive features that is the best backlog that can give maximum value to the customer one of the challenges that you will experience in prioritization is that your product owner or the customer might end up uh, prioritizing most of the features in the backlog as must have features at this instance it is your duty as a business analyst to give recommendations to the customer to have a right mix of must have must bees one dimensional attractive have a good mix of each of these categories in your sprint so don't prioritize every requirement as high priority prioritize it based on how much value it is going to deliver to the end user so that's all in this video if you like this video hit the like button and subscribe to my channel thank you